Hey, how are you? <laughs> Fine. You? Good to see you. <laughs> thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> Glaucia and Anderson, thank you so much for coming with me to the Cinemateca Brasileira. You're welcome. We do some tours for guests in Sao Paulo, but you know what? This is a first time for us too. Thank you, Pierre. It is very good to come here with a cinema student. You speak very good English, Pierre. So do you, Glaucia. Thank you. And English is only a second language for all of us. Your first language is French, right? Yes, it is. I wish I could speak some Portuguese. It is such a beautiful language. So is French. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been reading a lot about the history of cinema, and it's really interesting. So, let's go? Yeah, yeah let's go. Do you know why I decided to become a cinema student? No. No. Because cinema is considered an art that involves other types of art, like music, dance, theater. When you think about it, it is true. Movies do have music and sometimes dancing. Yeah, and of course, a lot of acting. <laughs> Not to mention writing, which is literature. You got it. Perfect. This is why cinema is considered by many experts as being more powerful than other types of art. And there's another thing. Who doesn't like a good movie? <laughs> I know I do. Okay, let's go and have a seat there. Yeah. Guys, I think we should ask for information and decide what to see first. I am sure you are going to find some very old movies here, Pierre. You do like old movies, right? Yes, I love to watch movies to understand more about the history of film. I know cinema is a French invention. And two French brothers were pioneers in making movies. Well, to be fair, cinema was created after a series of inventions and developments. But according to many cinema historians, you are both right, Anderson. Cinema seems to have been created by two French brothers. Can you tell us more about them? Sure. They were Auguste and Louis Lumière, mm. or the Lumière brothers, as they are known all over the world. I wonder how the first movie looked like. Well, one of the first movies ever made was L'arrivée d'un train en gare de La Ciotat, the arrival of a train at La Ciotat. And it was exactly this. It showed a train arriving at a station. And that's it? Yes. Let me show you the whole movie. You will see. It only lasts 50 seconds. Well, I am sure it was a great novelty for the time. <laughs> it sure was. <laughs> Okay, this is it. The arrival of a train at La Ciotat was shot in 1895 in the train station of La Ciotat in the south of France. It is actually a very important moment. It is very well recorded. A little more and voila, that's it. I wonder how cameras worked back in these old times. They are completely different from modern ones. Go figure. Today, anyone can shoot a movie. Even cell phones have cameras. That's true. But I think the Lumiere brothers didn't use a camera. And you are right about it. I remember now. They used a machine called cinematograph. And because of this invention, they were considered to be the inventors of cinema. And this machine could record and reproduce movement. It was a great moment in history. I wonder how people reacted when they first saw moving images. <laughs> well, it's been said that when they showed this movie for the first time, the audience got really scared. <laughs> But some historians claim this is a myth. Hey, how about we have some coffee? You read my mind. I'm dying for some coffee. I will buy us coffee. Yeah. But please, you too. Not a word about movies before I am back. Hmm? You have my word. <laughs> we'll sit here. Okay. Oh, 
Thank you. I, I asked you for a coffee, but I'm going to have just a little sip because I'm trying to avoid, you know, mm. just a little bit. But I'll have the sweet. Delicious. <laughs> I was thinking, when the Lumiere brothers came up with the cinematograph, did they imagine how important cinema would become? Well, this is a very good question. Hmm. I don't think so. You see, they were both engineers who worked in their father's factory. They manufactured photographic equipment. Yeah, and they were able to create new equipments to improve their business, right? Yeah, something like that. When they invented the cinematograph, they had in mind a machine that would record real moments, just like a photo camera. There is one thing I still don't understand. Why is it called cinema? Cinema is short for cinematograph. This is a French word that comes from Greek kinema, movement, and graphe, graph. Mm. Guys, I know a place here where we can see old equipment. Why don't we check it out? I'm in. I love old stuff. Let's go there after the coffee break. It is inspiring to talk about cinema's history in this place. So, the Lumiere brothers try to film real events with their cinematography. And how things developed from there? Well, some other people had different ideas about how to use the machine. Eventually, someone figured that it was possible to tell stories with this new technique. Pierre, who was the first person to use the cinematograph to tell a story? It was Georges Méliès. His first movie was called A Trip to the Moon, and it was 14 minutes long. And did people like it? Very much. This movie had already many special effects. It was a huge success. done. I simply loved our tour. Mm. You know, they have great movie theaters in here. I bet they do. It is such a great place to visit. I'm really glad we came. Okay, but before we go, can we just take a look around a little bit more? This is such a beautiful place. Yeah, this place used to be a slaughterhouse, oh. but it has been restored. How interesting. I really love movies and architecture. Listen, guys, I have a suggestion. You really should watch some Charlie Chaplin movies. They will make you like cinema even more. We will. Oh, thanks for the tip. <laughs> All right. Should we get going now, or do you want to look around a little longer? I wouldn't mind hanging around for another 15 minutes. What do you say? Okay. Let's explore the gardens. And before we leave, I want to check the movies schedule here. <laughs> <laughs> 